All right, today we're going to talk about simplifying algebraic expressions, Mr. Cole. It's Mr. Rops here. And so when I think of simplifying algebraic expressions, I think about my dear Aunt Sally. And you have to excuse her. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally Piedmas. Is that what you say? What do you call it Pedemus? there? We call it bodmas, I've always called it. With a so B? Or B, so brackets. Exponents. And then exponents. Division, division of multiplying and then addition subtraction mm. or bedness? No, it's probably we don't need to expose <laughs> indices. We need to do bidmas or oh. or bodmas with you order. You do this. You change this to an I. Bidmas. I've heard that one, and the one that they usually use is bodmas, which is order. Order. Yeah. Like this. But order being indices or exponents. Okay, well that's yep. crazy. Well, I'm partial. That to, is crazy. To but please excuse my dear aunt Sally with. Parentheses, exponents, division, multiplication, add and subtract it. And these ones are as they come. We can go with that. Okay, I like that. So here's the first example here. We got 12 over 3 plus 7 square root 3 minus 3 times a 4 root 3. Okay, Mr. Cole, what do I have to do now? Which ones do I do? Okay, um, so I would just keep each term separate, so they're split up by the add and the minus. So okay. Just do any multiplication or division that we can do. All right, so multiplication here is a multiplication. Yeah. Is there a division at all? And the, the 12 over 3. Ah, this fraction is division. All right, so 12 over 3, I know that is a 4. Yeah, keep the next bit the same. And then 12, minus 12 root 3. Okay, and now, right. so that's division and multiplying, we're down to adding and subtracting. What okay. do we get when we add and subtract these together? So we can, we can pull the ones that are similar together. So the 7 root 3 minus 12 root 3, that's going to be negative 5 root 3. And the 4 can stay the same on its own. So is that the same as negative 1 root 3? What's that? Is that equal to negative 1 root 3? No, no, no. So you can't put together your, so you've got your, you've got five lots of root three, and then four. All right, so four these units. are two, this is a number here, and this is a number. Two numbers here, believe it or not. This is a five root three. It's a funny looking number, but it is a number nonetheless. Yep. You do not do this. Boo, hiss, boo. Sad <laughs> face if you do that. All right, let's try another example then. What's next? All right, we have, this is B, we have... 3x squared times a 4y divided by, divided by 6xy. All right, so how would you do attack this one? Right. Hmm. I would probably make it a fraction. Is that what you'd do? That's or? exactly what I would do. I okay. Would do I might times the, the 3 and the 4 to make 12. And then you've got x squared y. That's the numerator, the mm -hmm. top of my fraction. Yep. And then underneath that. So it was this part here. Yep. And then underneath that, you've got your 6xy. Okay, so dividing is a fraction, so I get 6xy. All right, now we should have a few, um, few things we can cancel out. Okay, what cancels away? So the y's. We can take off one of the x's, so cross out the one at the bottom, and take that x squared. Mm -hmm. And then 12 and 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Okay, so when this is all said and done, I get equal to 2x. Okay, so all those things that ca cancelled out, they're just 1. So it's divided by 1. You don't need to write. Okay, great. Let's do another one. What we got next? Mm -hmm. So, brackets, parentheses, wherever you're from. A root 3. A root 3. Add y. All squared. Hmm. Now that's squared. I'm adding. That means that I'm going to do this. So I'm doing. Yeah, write it out. Write it all out. And then in doing this, this is really a thing that you remember as foil. Okay. Where you do your first, your outer, your inner, 
and your last. All right, so when we do the first, it means we're going to multiply the first two terms together. And when I multiply them together, I get how much? Okay, so we've got a times a is a squared. And then root 3 times root 3 is 3. Okay, so, now... Uh, all right, so that was our inner terms. Now for our outer terms, we're going to do the outside term here. So okay. when I multiply those together, what, what am I left with? So do you want them ordered? Or we've got, I would put them a y root 3, or we can put them a root 3 times y to start with. I don't. Okay. Yep. All right, and then when we're going to do the inner ones, so we do the inside ones here. Okay. And, and let's do the same order. So we'll do the letters first alphabetically. So A, Y, root 3. We can see they're the same. And then we're, the last we'll do in pink. The last is going to be those ones there. Okay, so Y times Y, Y squared. Okay. So rewriting so, this, this we yep. can write as 3A squared. Yep. Now what can I do with these? Okay, so we've got two of them. We've got, and they're the same. So we've just got two lots off, or two, a y, root three. Now the order that you write these in don't, doesn't really doesn't officially matter. Just nice grammar says to put them in alphabetical, but it's quite nice when you've got lots of different things, just so you can see what's the same. We did a do the numbers first, and then the then the letters. Right. But yeah, and then, and then y squared. Y squared. Great. That's it. All right. One more to go. Let's get our calculators for this one. All right, and so now, one with our calculator. Here's what the question says. It says 5 minus the square root of a negative 3 squared. That's 7 times negative 2 times negative 3, all divided by 2 times 5. Divided by 2 times 5. Okay. Now, we can use our calculator to help us out with this, but usually I think it's easier to do a lot of it without your calculator. Okay. Okay, so take me through this there, Mr. Cole. All right, so if we do the, the bit all in the, under the square root first, I would. Okay. So we've got five minus, we've got root negative three squared, so negative three times negative three is positive nine. Mm -hmm. And then we can multiply these ones, so we've got seven times negative two times negative three, so it's gonna be positive. Mm -hmm. And seven times two is 14 times three, is what, 42? 42. Yeah. I went 6 times 7, that was easier for me. Uh, right. Clever. Now I do, before we, and then all over. All over 10. All over 10. Now before we go any further, I want to talk about this one here. Okay? That one there is you have to be really careful about because that negative is part of the squared. So if you are ever doing that on your calculator, if I just say negative 3 squared, that gives me negative nine. That's this calculation is not what I've what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to put the negative three in parentheses squared. This is the correct calculation. Okay. So very I, common mistake that it one. It is a very common mistake. So if I pull this here, so the one we have, this is the correct version that you're supposed to do. This one here. That is saying negative, and then the 3 is only squared, so that is correctly negative 9. Be very careful with your calculator with that. Okay. All right, continuing along then. All right, so if we could still do this um, without the calculator. Yep. So we've got what? Fifth, now we've got 5 minus root 51 over 10. Um, we could. Now we do you can, want to go any further, or should we get that in I the think calculator? Now we can go to our calculator. So we take our calculator. Now, I have this whole top part. I'm going to put it in parentheses because I want the top of the fraction. 5 minus the square root of 51. Oh. Oh, so you have to, when you, when you want to end the square root, you have to just press to the right. There we go. And I'm going to divide it by the 10. Enter, and I get the value of... We're going to do 3... Three significant figures? Or? Yes, let's do three significant figures. So negative 0 0.214. And that's 
because the one is smaller than five, we do not round the four up. The significant figures, the first one that's not a zero from the left. So we start counting with the two. One, two, three. Yep. There we one, go. two, three. Three sig figs. Great.